Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. And in today's video, I wanted to celebrate two years of Monster High Generation 3. Yes, they have been out for two years now. It was about September, October of 2022 that these dolls started hitting shelves. And I love them so much. If you watch my videos, you probably know that I just adore these dolls. Oops forgot to take that Rochelle down. She's just chilling there. That's fine. And to celebrate the momentous occasion of these dolls being out for two years, I wanted to make a video all about Monster High Generation 3 shoes. Okay, Monster High is known for their shoe game, good and bad, and I wanted to make a video highlighting my favorite shoes from this generation. I'm also gonna show some of my less favorite shoes. There's only a handful, okay? There's only a handful of shoes from G3 that I don't love. But that's the game plan for today's video. Here are all of my core dolls. This is my current like core doll display. I figured that's what I would open the video up with. I am missing Spectra because I'm currently curling her hair. And then next to Persephone right there is just an extra spot for when I get an extra doll. Wait, no, that's Malady. That's Persephone, my bad. But yeah, that's an extra spot for when like Jennifer comes out, hopefully. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm waiting for that doll for like stock photos or something. I'm so excited. But yeah, I wanted to celebrate two years because I just love these dolls and they bring me so much joy. And I figured this would be a fun way for me to sort of look back on two years of Monster High, but specifically the shoes. So let's get started. Okay, first shoe line that I wanted to highlight is Ultimate Secrets series one i love series one of school to secrets primarily these ones right here like the better of the two shoe options typically in school to secrets you'll get like one really really nice pair of shoes that are like the star of the show and then you'll get a second pair of shoes that are like they're there you know they're there for like mix and match options but they're usually not the pair of shoes that are like the best of the best and right here, this is our first series of Ultimate Secrets, and I really like these. I like Claudine's right here. Now, they could use some like extra paint details, but still really fun, like strappy sandals from Claudine and a little moon on the heel, which is really nice. Frankie's, I don't love, but it's fine. They're probably my least favorite of them. I will say one cool detail about Frankie that I like is on the bottom, there is like a little texture right there that's like kind of like a steel great almost i can't describe it but yeah i really like those little hidden details on a lot of these shoes like the little extra things on the bottom of them these dracula shoes i mean come on these are so cute i'm so surprised that these have not been reused they have only appeared for this doll and that's it and they are so cute i love these cleo shoes as well also very quintessential cleo and then the heel for this is like a little snake like are you kidding me so cute i know there's currently a lot of debate about object heels in monster high and i feel like g3 never really like makes it feel outlandish the way Skelector dolls do which is nice and then i love laguna's strappy like octopus sandals super cute i just thought this line was really solid and was a really great start to generation three and kind of helped carve out each of these characters distinct identities in Generation 3, something that they've done with Frankie that I think is amazing and so cool is a lot of Frankie's G3 designs feature shoes with asymmetrical designs that are meant to highlight and feature their prosthetic leg. So in Generation 3, Frankie uses they, them pronouns, they identify as non-binary, they have a prosthetic leg, right? There's a lot of unique attributes to G3 Frankie. And I think it's so cool that in the design of their shoes in particular, they are meant to highlight their prosthetic leg with these asymmetrical designs. As you can see, like this is a very long covered up boot. And then this one's a lot shorter to show off their prosthetic. So instead of it being like two super long boots, right? I think with their designs, they are trying to communicate that like the things that make you different are also the things that make you special. And you can embrace them instead of hiding and covering them up. And I think it's really nice that these shoes in particular can speak to sort of the heart of the brand and like what they want to communicate. And I really love these shoes. And funny enough, I feel like there is this phenomenon with these shoes in particular where people, I think, exacerbate how often Frankie gets like asymmetrical shoe designs of my collection. It was like these ones plus the Ultimate Secrets Series 1 doll that really had these like asymmetrical designs. But I think people think like, oh, every shoe that Frankie gets is asymmetrical when it's really not. It's just like this handful. And this first go at it with like the Coffee Break doll, 
I don't really love, like, this is one of the earlier G3 shoes, and with time, like, it's not great, right? They're just, like, big chunks of plastic. Kind of reminds me of, like, their Barbie Extra era that Mattel had going on. And I think when we got, got over here to Amped Up Frankie, with all this extra paint detail and, like, just the design overall, I feel like they were really figuring out, like, their shoe game. Because comparing these to these, I think these are so much more exciting. I mean, these are still really fun, too. Really cool mold. I like the lightning bolt heel. But, like, these are just so freaky and so amazing. And then these are from Neon Frights. Um, they're okay. Like, this glow-in-the-dark plastic, it's really hard to tell what's going on as far as the mold goes. But they feature that asymmetrical design that I wanted to highlight and show off for Frankie Stein. Okay, as I was talking about Frankie's asymmetrical shoes, I stumbled upon these, and these are so bad. These are Frankie's Creepover Party shoes, and they're kind of like a sock slipper situation, you know, uh, with some lightning bolts. They're very ugly, and I think this definitely shows where G3 was at the time. Uh, these were not good, and I do not even display my Frankie wearing these, hence why they are not currently on a doll, because I store them away in a Skull Tumbled Secrets locker and, like, lock them up because I do not like them. So, yeah, probably the ugliest shoes to come out of G3. There's still some shoes I don't love, right? But these, I think, are just, like, really, really bad. And this was early on in G3, which is good, right? Because after this, the shoe game just kept getting better and better. So, yeah, pretty early blunder for Monster High, but I think since these, nothing has really come close to how ugly these are. So, you know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be positive here because I really do not like these shoes. Okay, these shoes right here are some of my favorite. And I think that's because they are on the more understated side of things. You know, with Monster High, things can be very, like, on the nose. And I think because of that, it can be very difficult to restyle with G3 shoes. But these right here are some of my favorite shoes to restyle and throw on some other dolls. And they still look really, really good. Starting off with Gulia, these are probably my favorite shoes to, like, play around and restyle with. These are Gulia's core doll shoes. They are just a classic pair of boots and the sole is like a brain texture and it still works well on other characters even though it is a brain and you know a zombie inspired like Gulia. I don't care they still look good on so many other dolls and then Draculaura's Gorgonizer shoes they're just like a classic pair of combat boots but they're so good they're so good I love the coffin details on them and granted these have no paint detail but that does not detract from them whatsoever and then moving on to Twyla's Cordal. Her shoes are so cute. They're like a Mary Jane, like wedge, lots of straps. And I think these are very versatile as well. I mean, you could probably paint over the purple and play around with them as well if you wanted to put them on, on another doll. But these work really well on Claudine with the purple. And I just love these shoes so much. And then Claudine's Monster Ball heels are some of my favorite i find that you know if you look around in g3 sometimes we don't get just like a solid pair of heels and when we do they do not disappoint because these are so stinking cute i love these so much like some of my favorite shoes and then for frankie this is frankie's latin america budget doll this is just like a classic like frankenstein inspired boot Okay, I love the height. I love the platform. The pale pink is not like, you know, my favorite. I wish these were just black. But like I said, these are some of my favorite designs just because of how understated they are and versatile. So if you were looking for shoes to play around and restyle with, these right here are some of my favorites. Okay, next up is Monster Fest Laguna's shoes. And I really like these because these sort of feel like a design evolution from Laguna's Sculptimate Secrets Series 1 shoes with all of the like strappy octopus tentacles. But I feel like now in G3, I'm happy they're leaning into like a darker, grungier aesthetic. This is a very like dark navy blue, kind of almost like an oil slick sheen to them. And I love on the heel, there's like a dead fish bone inside with like an actual plastic bubble on the heel. It's very, very cool. I, I love these so much. And I also feel like with these shoes, you can't talk about them without also mentioning the way they were designed and styled with like the pink mesh socks and like the pearl chains hanging around her legs. Like 
they look so good together. And I feel like part of what makes these shoes so cool is those extra details, right? So I really like moments like this where it feels like the designers are having a lot of fun with the shoes and thinking about other elements. Because yes, this is a video about shoes, but sometimes the socks or the stockings or whatever do come in come into play and like influence the overall vibe and aesthetic. And right here with these shoes and like the bulging fishbowl, like they just feel very fun and like fantastical. They just feel like a, like fantasy, you know? And I, I love these. So in generation three, I love when we get very intricate, fun boots. Right here we have this like gladiator sandal moment from Monster Fest Claudine. And here we have Skultimate Secrets Monster Mysteries Claudine's boots. We have Fear Descent Skultimate Secrets Claudine right here. Now granted, these ones I did add extra paint detail. So like uh, I'm sort of upselling these right here, but I do feel like generation three every now and then does try, try to pay homage to G1. So like if you look at G1 Claudine's shoes, these like strappy belts, like ugh, these shoes are so good. And I feel like when people think Monster High, I feel like they tend to think these plus Draculaura's boots, right? But when you actually look at like the types of shoes we're getting in G1, they weren't always like these nice strappy boots. They were mostly just like heels and pumps, right? But I feel like G3 has been doing a good job of like feeding us these nice chunky boots. Okay, I love these shoes right here. Like these feel like such a nice homage with all of the belts. Okay, now uh, I'm kind of like, like I said, upselling this because I had to paint these belts, which sucks. You know, you shouldn't have to paint your shoes to get them to look how they should look. But when you do, they look really good. Same thing here. These only came with like paint detail right here. And I added a lot of details on the chains and on the little lockets and charms. But like these shoes are amazing. The molds that we're getting out of generation three are top tier. Now these right here from Monster Fest, I didn't add any extra paint details. I actually think these look pretty good as is. I really like the fur trim that they came with. And overall, like I love that G3 has sort of carried on this iconic design from Claudine's G1 doll. And I love moments like this where we can sort of see design inspiration and design evolution. And I really, really love all of these shoes in particular. These ones probably, the most they're just oh they're so good okay one thing that g3 does and sort of overdoes is reusing shoe molds okay these have been released three times now and they are cute but like i'm just sick of them i don't need them again please no more of these we have on the far left the like amazon boutique claudine in the middle is fabulous pets and the far right is the newest Eakin getaway set. And they are subtly different. Like looking at them all here, you can see like one's very light, one's kind of pinkier, one's kind of purplier. But yeah, I, I don't need a third issue of the shoes, okay? Like twice is fine, but a third time I'm kind of like, nah. And it happened with Draculaura as well with her cute little like Mary Jane platforms. Now the Fear Descent doll in the middle with like the glitter jelly details, obviously these are the cutest right like those are the best and then over here is the bite in the park doll just all black yeah and then this is the budget doll with all pink and granted like they are different and more distinct than claudine's shoes but still i just get tired of getting the same mold so like twice is fine after the third time i'm a little bit annoyed and there's more cases of this i think claudine in particular has like one pair of like athletic tennis shoes that they keep giving her like three or four times and I'm sick of it so yeah sometimes they flop and they can be annoying and if they reuse like good shoes I wouldn't complain and like I don't think these are ugly you know but there's some shoes that have not been reused that I think fans would love to see again and these we can definitely lay to rest okay I could yap about school to mid secrets all day like that could be its own video but I love the Sculptimate Secrets shoes in particular. And because a lot of them tend to be very matchy-matchy and look the same across the series, I wanted to kind of quickly put one of each. And this is a sneak right here because these are the only ones that are like secondary shoes. But these are my favorite secondary shoes. They're like 
the ballet flats, right? But they're very avant-garde. They have no heels. And I love these shoes so much. Super underrated, but some of my favorite. And they give the dolls such massive height. Like Abby is already so tall and she's even taller when she wears these. Cleo looks great in them. I think Dracula and Claudine also have a pair. Yeah, and I love these. So if we take these aside and we just look at all of these, here we'll have series one through five. And like I said, after series one, they were very consistent and matchy matchy. But you can see the evolution from series one to series two. Here we have Fearadescent. This is Frankie. And I chose Frankie because I didn't add that much paint detail to them. Like I just added some silver paint details. But I love these shoes. I love Frankie's prosthetic leg as well. How it was chosen to be like this like frosty, icy, translucent color to play in it to the design. I love choices like that that feel very fun and just, you know, very intentional and, and silly. Uh, I really like it. And then we have Gulia right here from Neon Frights. These ones were all glow in the dark, very minimal paint details, uh, actually no paint details. So I, a minimal is not the right word, but these are so cool. I love all of the shoes from this entire series. And I know Neon Frights is kind of like people's probably least favorite of this Cultimate Secrets line, but for these boots alone, I think they make the whole series worth it. And then, I mean, plus look at the screen color. It's so cool. And then right here, Clio, these shoes are so cool as well. I also chose these because I did paint these, but like they don't have the most paint detail. So they're still kind of like a little bit more true to form. You know, one thing in my collection is I paint my shoes. So like I added some bronze, copper paint and like blue paint and stuff. So ignore that. But like these shoes, are gorgeous from this series as well and this is when they introduced that like really cool print detail right here it's very effective and i really enjoy that on these shoes and then lastly we have our newest series garden mysteries i do think these shoes probably fall flat in comparison to the rest of the Sculptimate series lineup like for me two through four were really strong viridescent to neon frights to monster mysteries I think shoe game was top tier. I think when we got to Garden Mysteries, the shoes were just not as strong as the rest of the series. Not to say that I don't love the dolls, but just the shoes in particular, I think fall flat in comparison to what we were getting in the past. And series one is kind of like an anomaly, right? It's kind of like its own thing, as I mentioned earlier, but I, I still love them. Here are some examples of some more generation three shoes that do not really work for me. These Frankie shoes in particular are just not my favorite. On, on the left, this like slime green moment is so ugly. And these are from Frankie's Ghoul Spirit doll, which were the first G3 dolls to get released in like that giant six pack. And these shoes had me worried. Okay, these had me really worried. They just don't have a lot of shape to them. I'm not really even sure what they're referencing. Like they're just not good. I did not like these. The, um, they reminded me of <laughs> Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, where like the main character tries to make like shoes that you don't have to take off or something. And it's just like a, a glob of like plastic over his feet. That's what this reminds me of, but like worse. And here they're not as bad because one, they're black. Number two, they have glitter. And number three, they had some paint detail, but still like overall this shoe mold we don't need it. They're not good. And then these two right here are cases of like them cl clearly referencing like shoe brands, right? On the left, we have like Vans. On the right, we have Crocs. And I think in neither instance does it really work well for me. And because they all have heeled feet, they have to have like massive platforms. And that's not even my issue necessarily. I do like platform shoes. Just something about these looks off. Like, I don't know. I don't need Monster High referencing vans and like crocs i i don't know it doesn't really speak to me or or do much for me and even for gulia i had to like make her some like little leg warmers because like i just i don't know the shoes on their own were just kind of ugly same thing with frankie i added some like mesh socks because like these shoes just they just don't work for me they don't work for me and then lastly these creepover party claudine slippers just pale in comparison to the original dead tired slippers that we got they're just not good i will say they're not good but they like stay on her feet okay these do not come off like they are snug 
but um they're ugly so that's why they're here so yeah sometimes g3 like just they don't hit they don't always hit and i can admit that you know i, I can let you know the issues here are not good and and that's okay that's okay i think like with the bad it lets you appreciate the good just even more you know what i mean like i'm i'm trying to like you know cup half full right here but yeah these are not my favorite Okay, last clip of the day. These are my last little shoes I want to highlight. We have Hisfits Torlai, Spade Laguna. We have Caddy Noir's classic shoes, or Cordal shoes, I should say. Venus's Cordal shoes, and then Monster Fest Clear. I love Clio, and I love the little, like, big toe cover and the little pyramid heel, and just, uh, so cute. And then for Venus and Caddy, I did customize their shoes slightly, but, like, even still without my extra customizations i still adore these shoes and then laguna these are some of the best shoes like very simple very understated but so good and then i think these his fits toy shoes are not everyone's favorite but like the little heel being like a little cat scratch like tower that you know a cat would scratch uh, so fun and so cute so yeah i wanted to leave you with some of my favorite shoes on a positive note let me know down in the comments below what are your favorite shoes from monster high Generation 3, are they shoes that I shared today in my video? Did I miss them and not highlight them? Please let me know so I can chat with you down below in the comments. I love having conversation and building community here on YouTube. And if you like my video, please give it a like, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. But yeah, that's my video. This is my channel, Dracula. My name is Eli. I had so much fun today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.